Hello, it is about time for March's coffee chat, which is a little bit blowing my mind, um, but I'm not mad about it because March means spring break. So if I can make it just a little bit longer, I'll have a little reprieve before the end of the year push. With that being said, I haven't pulled anything out, so I actually need to go up in the attic and see if I can find our spring box, which is fine because I wanted to pull that out and do our spring stuff this weekend anyway. So let me go find a mug, find some coffee, and I've already found a crazy dog. Hello. Yowza. Welcome to the coffee chat. All right, I found the spring box, but it was too complicated to get it out of the attic. So we're just gonna go with Chip, and this will actually work well anyway. And we'll discuss it in a second. All right, so coffee cheers. Hopefully this lighting's okay that I could only muster one today, but it's a coffee chat, so it's a little bit more casual anyway. This mug is also quite fitting, even though it's not like, you know, a Marchy St. Patrick's Day E1, but it is Chip from Beauty and the Beast, which is probably my favorite Disney movie, and we are going to Disney over spring break, which is super exciting. And we're going to eat at Be Our Guest, which I've never eaten there before, so I'm like really, really excited to go inside of Beast Castle. Tali is here and says hello. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about February, things that are coming up in March. We're going to talk about what I'm working on. I'm going to talk about something that can actually help double or triple. We'll talk about something that's gonna double or triple your productivity. We'll talk about clip art and bundles briefly at the end because I always ask what you wanna hear about and those were two of the top questions that I got this time. So let's get started as soon as Tali pops. Thank you. So first of all, February, best month ever, literally like top sales, which is very exciting. You probably guessed that from my sale recap video, but it was still just really exciting. I have all those products that sold really well last year in addition to some that are selling this well this year and it just really trying to be more focused on what products I'm creating and making sure that they're going to do well. Um, and again, those seasonal products will get you every time. That being said, my sales have slowed down. I'm filming this the Wednesday before it comes out. So my, my sales have slowed down a lot this week in particular and I've seen a lot of other people say that as well and I'm going to tell you it is probably due to a lot of people being on winter break apparently some people get winter break in February like what is this I don't know we don't get winter break although we also don't get a real winter so I guess you know give and take but a lot of people are apparently on a winter break I heard like pretty much the whole northeast is on winter break we don't have that but you know it is what it is um so if your sales have slowed down this week you're not alone and that might be the reason that being said heading into march is when a lot of people have spring break so spring break can be pretty much any time in march or april here in the u.s and so in march and april it tends to be a little bit slower we usually have it over st patrick's day but this year it's actually different it's like the last week in march so we have like two days off for st patrick's day and then a week of school and then a week off it's very strange um and then it, sometimes we have it near easter and it's not near easter either so <laughs> i don't know who picked it or why but that's what's happening here in savannah um someone asked if i'm excited for saint patrick's day um I don't really care. I'm not super into St. Patrick's Day. I love Irish music. Fun fact, my husband and I listen to like Irish folk music all the time. So I love that. And I love, I always teach Irish music around St. Patrick's Day as well. So I love that as well. But we don't like, we're not like going to the parade or any of that kind of stuff. We're not like, it's just not quite our scene. Maybe when like I have a kid later on, we'll go. Cause we won't, we won't when I was a kid. But um, it's more of a like a touristy or the... Like, let's all go and get drunk and I'm not into that. So we're not super into St. Patrick's Day, but it is fun to get a day off, which is always nice. And this year we get two days off, which is super nice. We don't usually get that, but I very much appreciate it. But that being said, if your sales go down quite a bit in March, do be aware, like spring break is coming up. Not, you know, the world doesn't revolve around our same schedule. So sometimes you'll notice things like that that are just, sales are going down with nothing to do with you. So do be aware. That being said, a couple of things I'm working on in March, I thought it might be interesting to kind of talk through that. Um, I would like to get my website for y'all actually up and posted and running. I wanted to do that in February and did not. So hopefully I will get that done in March. Um, and then also I'm looking at some spring products that I'm going to make. 
um, probably not a huge ton, but if I make a couple then I think I can make a bundle with some things that are like springish because I have like some chicken songs and you know things like that that are like spring but I can make them spring and we can call them spring and pretend they're spring so that's kind of my plan as far as that and then I have a couple of evergreen resources that I want to either update or create like have been on my list for a long time or finish some of them like I have a go, go fish set and I made two of them and then I never finished the rest and so I would like to finish those and then update things like my kaboom resource I used it actually in class this week and it's one of my favorite games and I remembered I was like oh my gosh this is why I love this game because my fourth graders are obsessed and so I was like well I want to go and like update my old ones because they need a little updating I would like to add more rhythms and just add some stuff to them and just make them a little bit better so those are things I'm looking at during March is like a couple of spring things but I'm really trying to do more of like what are those evergreen products that are going to work all the time that I know we're going to do well? What do I need to finish? What do I need to update? What do I need to, you know, kind of do those things to see? And I have a couple of like related things. So like, you know, I have a lot of games that do really well. So I have some ideas for other games. So hopefully I can get to those maybe in like April or May. That being said, in March, something that I did last year that made like a world of difference was taking a break from my business, which might sound really counterintuitive. I have the hardest time taking a break, but when I got to March last year, I was just like, I am done. I am over everything. All I wanna do is lay on the couch and like not see anybody, not do anything. And so that's pretty much what I did. I decided to take the entire spring break off. That coupled with the fact if you were watching, I had like a whole car fiasco. And so I didn't have a car and like my husband wasn't here for a bunch of like half of the spring break. He was out of town. So like I literally could not leave the house. And so all of those things just kind of combined it meant that I was, um, really forced to rest and it made such a huge difference by the time i got to the end of the week i was like pumped and excited and ready to go and like came up with a whole new product idea and like ended up started working on it just because i wanted to because i was so excited about it and it was a game changer so i want to implement that not just in spring break but my goal is to do that once every quarter so the spring break works out perfectly the next one would be the end of June, which is in the middle of summer. Great. Um, the next one after that would be the end of September, which is harder because I have school. And then the last one being the last week in December. Um, so I'd love to see if I could maybe take at least half, but preferably the whole week off those weeks so that I can take a whole week to kind of just recoup chill out do some things that i've been wanting to do that have been on the list forever that i haven't gotten done and then also like last time what i did is i like listened to a lot of motivating podcasts and i watched a lot of motivating videos and i did some like learning and educating and i did a lot of reading and stuff like that that got me in the right mindset and got me excited and then i would do some planning because i love planning so anytime i can sit down and make a list i am happy and those things really helped me to just feel a lot better and be like rejuvenated and ready to to go and again like wanting to do things in my business not that I didn't want to do things in my business because I love my business but it was really great so I'm going to try to replicate that this year and my goal is to get like at least half of the week of spring break but preferably the whole week of spring break off so we shall see how that goes I'll let you know next month now this only helps if you consistently work on your business if you you know take a week off every other week then probably not going to be helpful but if you're like me and you work every day on your business then taking a week off or a couple days off can be like a game changer just in terms of motivation especially if you fill that time with again reading and doing things that have been on the to-do list forever and like that kind of stuff so you're still like being productive but also it's just different so I'm really looking forward to that already even though we're like a whole month out and trying to like make sure I plan my march accordingly so that's another reason why I was like oh I'll just work on the website because I don't think it's going to be a full month project like batching blogs is. And so I think it's something that I can do in a shorter amount of time. I hope. We shall see. All right. I always ask what y'all want to see. And so I have three things that I took out of the things that you sent me. We will be doing a Q&A in March. So do keep an eye out for that if you have a question. I will do like a full Q&A. But I like to take, you know, a couple of questions. So a couple of things that... I got asked about um, number one was clip art um so I've gotten a couple of clip art questions and so here's my here's my clip art things um I do not make my own clip art I do purchase my own clip art I buy it all on teachers pay teachers 
I have a couple of stores that I really prefer. I love Edge Eclipse, as everyone does. I love um, Creative Clips is also a really good one. I use that one a lot. And there's a couple others, but those are like the two main. Oh, Cilio Design. I use a lot of those as well. Those are probably my top three that I use a lot. Um, but I do use quite a bit, just depending, you know, on who has what they need. I will say that I've gotten in the habit of checking those stores first. So when I need new clip art, I check Edge Eclipse and I check Creative Clips first before I go search everywhere else because I have found that that way you can keep everything. One, you have a lot less people to give credit to, so it's just like less to keep up with. And two, it um, makes your resources look a little more cohesive and make your store look a little more cohesive when everything matches because they're all the same style. So I've been really enjoying that quite a bit. So again, I purchase it, I do not make it. Um, as far as storage, I get, this is one of my top questions, is like, how do you store your clip art? Y'all, I do not have a good system for this. It's literally a thumb drive with a bunch of folders. And it was just the folders of like every different clip art set. I've gotten a little better recently. And so I've started like, I put all the Christmas stuff into a Christmas folder and I put like all of the, you know, I'm like trying to start categorizing it. And by trying, I mean like in the last couple of weeks, like really recently. Um, but that's about all as far as like, how I organize my clip art. The same thing with my products. People ask all the time, how do you order, organize your products? Y'all, it's literally a file. It's a thumb drive with a file. And I name the folder, the product name. And then inside of the folder, there's another folder with this specific product if there's like more than one. And then it's just everything in there. And I do not save my covers and I don't save my thumbnails. And so, I don't even worry about those. I don't save my Pinterest pins. Like I don't save any of it. I don't, I just download them, use them once and don't worry about them, which is probably horrible, but it's the truth. Then when they're finished, they do go into a folder that's labeled finished so that I have kind of like, these are things that are open and these are things that are done. And that's kind of helpful as well. But that's literally all every couple of months, I'll back it up to Google drive just to make sure that I have an extra copy of everything. But that's pretty much all I got in terms of that. Let me see if there was any other specific clip art things. Um, how often do you buy clip art and do you have special things you always look for finding quality ones? Um, I just look for which one looks the best and if it's one of the sellers that I trust that I'm gonna pick that over other ones. As far as how often I buy it, I am very particular about only buying clip art when I need it for the most part. So for example, when I did a lesson pack with the song Lemonade, I bought a Lemonade clip art set. <laughs> and you know, um, the other day I needed a basketball court and so I bought a basketball court clip art set. Like it is very much what I need in the moment. And I do this to save a lot of money because a lot of times you'll buy clip art and then not use it or not use it for a long time. I've actually done that. I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy things during the sale and then you know, use it later. And so I've purchased a couple of clip art sets and I still have not used them. It's been like a year. So I don't do that anymore. Um, with the exception of if I 1000% know something's coming up, then I'll buy it. Or if it's more general. So for example, I noticed that I just needed like kids playing instruments. And so that was something I bought during a sale and I just use it throughout lots of different clip art sets. And that's kind of more of like an evergreen versus like a single product. But for the most part, I buy them when I do the product because otherwise you end up with a whole bunch of extra clip art. The exception being, I have a thing for like Christmas and winter clip art. I love it. I love like winter snowmen, snowball fights, the whole nine yards. I want it all. That is like my struggle when it comes to clip art. I don't know what it is, but I just, I feel like I need everything when it comes to winter. It is hilarious to me. Are you excited for St. Patrick's Day? You know, your city has a huge celebration. We do have a huge celebration. That's how we know COVID was like a real deal is when they canceled St. Patrick's Day. We're like, what is happening here? Yeah, okay, so that was all of those questions. I also got some questions about bundles, specifically how many products you should put into a bundle. You should put your products into as many bundles as makes sense. So if you have, you know, like if I have a rhythm game it's gonna go into the bundle for that game. So if it's, you know, I just made some basketball lesson games. It's going in the basketball rhythm game. 
it'll also probably go into my like you know quarter and eighth note rhythm game set and then it might go into other ones just depending on what it's related to it's not how many is like good it's just how many are relevant and how many different things do you think your people are going to want to purchase so yeah just make bundles that are relevant so that people are willing to you know buy things and if you're like oh if they have this one they're also going to want this one then that's great i usually think of bundles as being either vertical or horizontal so it's either like here's a whole lesson pack that's like all my basketball games or here's all of the rhythm games for that section but they're all different types of games if that makes sense so they're either like concept based or they're like types based and both are useful and both are helpful and both will sell and so those are both good things to have and it just depends on how many you got all right the last thing i wanted to talk about is something i've been avoiding talking about and that is someone asked how i feel about a certain person on youtube using my image in their thumbnails and using portions of my videos in their videos um and how i feel is not good i do not enjoy it i do not appreciate it i haven't mentioned it because one i didn't want to start something two i don't know what i could actually do and three um i was worried if i mentioned something that y'all might go and look for this person which is the exact opposite of what i want because that's like rewarding the behavior because then if you click on the video and watch the video that's a view and you know that's a click through and so i i've been avoiding because i don't want to draw more attention to it kind of um but the idea of somebody using my image or my video without my permission is really unsettling to me and i really don't appreciate it so my message to you would be please make sure that the videos you click on are actually my videos all i have a million youtube channels but they all say becca in them through their you know becca davis or becca's music room or something like that um and yeah i really don't appreciate it i don't know if i can do anything about it so this person i looked everywhere could not find any contact info finally found their website sent a contact like message through their website never heard back i left a comment on the first video um and which i thought was extra funny because it was about how much money you could make on youtube and that was using this like software that showed like the average amount of money which was not correct first of all secondly i have videos about how much money i make on youtube so if you're curious like you could literally just watch my video where i tell you the exact numbers which i thought was really funny but i left a comment and asked for this person to take my image off and said you know i just don't feel comfortable with people using my image without my permission um and then I left it for a few weeks and I just looked over the weekend. There's like three more videos that all have my face on their thumbnail. And I'm like, mm. you know, again, I don't want to start something, but I also just really feel uncomfortable with someone using my image and portions of my videos in their videos <laughs> so you know and it's not like a personal thing like i would feel really uncomfortable with anybody doing that without my permission um so that's how i feel if you don't know what i'm talking about don't go looking for this person because again i don't want to draw more attention to things that i don't appreciate but that's how i feel so let's end on a happier note we're headed to disney world which i'm pumped about we're gonna stay at the french quarter which i've never stayed on any of the actual hotels we always stay in the campground so i'm very excited to stay in like a hotel it just feels so much fancier I've heard really great things about the French Quarter, so I'm excited about that. We've watched some videos that looks really cute. Um, we have some plans like going to be our guest. I'm so pumped. I've never been to be our guest. And I think that I actually got a package that I am going to use to take with it. So I will go check that before I leave here. Um, yeah, but it's gonna be really fun. I will probably vlog the whole thing and then probably have like a chit chat video like I did with a lot more of like 
what we did and what we ate and all that stuff because we want to like try some new places we've never been to in Disney Springs and just all that kind of stuff. So I am pumped about that and really excited and so thankful that my Teachers Pay Teachers store is able to afford me, literally afford me, fun things like going to Disney World and also going to build more like we did and also simple things like, you know, paying my rent. That's also nice. Not rent. I own my house paying my mortgage that's also nice um or when my air conditioner broke the other day gonna pay for that but again i'm so thankful that i have the extra income that like that wasn't the end of the world it was so that's always really nice anyway that being said thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna go check and see if i have a package and then i will let you go bye i was right look what just came for me let me get these out of the plastic and i'll show you all right, so it's this lounge fly purse that's the Beauty and the Beast scene, but it looks like stained glass with like Belle and the reading to the sheep. And then on the back, it's got Belle and the Beast dancing, and it is so cute. They had it, this is the same brand as my backpacks. They had it in a backpack, and I wanted the backpack, but in true Becca fashion, I waited too long and it got sold out, which is like literally the story of my life. <laughs> I always, I'm so indecisive, and so I never decide quickly enough and then things sell out and that is like my husband was like you have got to be kidding me like hasn't that happened a million times oh that would be cool if that was pocket um it has so i <laughs> went ahead and got the purse just in case which i think will be fun especially for um be our guest because i think we're gonna go back to the hotel and then go to be our guest so that we'll like be able to be you know clean and fresh and stuff um so i can take this instead of my backpack it's a little bit nicer um and it's gonna be so nice so nice and then i got the matching wallet because i was like you know what might as well and my husband's all about like matching things so he was like you have to get the matching wallet and i was like okay also i think you got free shipping over like a certain amount and then it came with this little free pin thingy i don't know what i'm gonna use it for but it's cute i might put it in my prize box it's cool but you know there's that so Happy little note to end on. Thanks for watching. Bye.